cup of tea. Good. She sees the baby lying. The Mother and Child down. English Language Program has been running here at the Global Learning Centre in Hume since 2004. So these women take part in this program, which is the Adult Migrant English Program. Um, they are, um, are offered 510 hours of free English tuition from the Australian Government and um, they, they come and they are able to use up these hours in different ways. Um, and this is one of the ways in which they can use up their hours in this playgroup style class. Yes, C's. Remember the S. Okay. Well, English is the key, really, to, to life here in Australia. Um, they need English in everything <laughs> that they experience here. Um, English often excludes them. The lack of English often excludes them from so many things. And I, in my experience working with these women, I've found that um, they often put family first, as many mothers do. And so they're putting family first for many years until their children go to school. And then they think, oh, hey, I need English now. Yes. Sometimes yes. It's, it's isolated them so much those few years, bringing up their kids from an early age that it's so difficult at that point to enter into English classes, to catch up with the rest of the family that are going to school, working, the husbands are working, who have so much English and that they fall behind. If you think of a word to describe what's happening in that square, just put a word on the side, if you can think, yeah. So we have um, an opportunity for women who um, are learning English as a second language and who have children under, the, under school age to come and together learn English but as well to enjoy each other's company, to, um, to also uh, enable their children to uh, socialise uh, in a very sort of informal, fun setting and then for the women to socialise as well. That's a very important thing as well. <laughs> But I feel that if these women have a certain amount of English, they have a certain amount of knowledge on how to bring up their children um, and prepare their children for education as well, that then the next generation will enter into the workplace with ease. I think, I think they're the key, really.